That cash is now deposited. The success of Kenya's inaugural Eurobond was announced at State House on June 25, 2014. A huge contrast from the recent announcement of the second Eurobond, which saw the National Treasury's officials post pictures from abroad to celebrate their achievement. Proceeds of both transactions will be used for funding of infrastructure projects in energy, transport, and agriculture. It's unfortunate that Eurobond, the auditing of it, is not complete. The Auditor General's annual report, year after year, says they, they cannot tell whether the entire amount came uh, back into the country. If you look at this, in a month we are borrowing 30 billion. That means we are supposed to be uh, building a thicker road uh, or so every month. So in the last five years, we've bor been borrowing one uh, standard gauge railway uh, or, or so, which is 320 billion. Every year we've been borrowing an amount that can build a railway um, um, in the last five years. So if you were to actually put it into development expenditure, the kind of investment that we, we expect to get is like five standard gauge railways, which you and I, if you walked around the country, we cannot be able to see this. Fears arrive that the government's borrowing is happening at a rate which cannot be matched by the country's economic growth, a factor which could affect the rate of repayment. Right now we are getting uh, a longer term one for 10 and 30, but basically we are paying 7% and 8. Yes. It's telling you that we are actually exchanging cheap debt for expensive debt. And that is usually a red signal because it's showing we are already at the point where we are beginning to have distress. So it's Peter borrowing from Peter to pay Paul and also paying at a higher rate than everything else. If you ask today that where is uh, Prospectus, for instance, no one knows where it is, it's in secret. The National Treasury maintains that the second Eurobond will benefit the country in other ways besides the repayment of debts that are set to mature over the short term. This stock that uh, you are borrowing to repay, it is standard practice in international capital markets to undertake what you call liability management. That is, you are trying to rebalance your uh, liquidity availability with your liabilities. So we have um, a syndicated loan that's maturing June this year. It's around 750 million US dollars. And then we have the five-year euro bond that they took in 2014, also maturing next year, June 2019, also around the same amount. So it will give you 1.5 billion US dollars to go towards liability management, now towards paying mm -hmm. those um, the, the loans that I've talked about. So it only leaves us with around 500 million US dollars to put into development. Financial experts contend that the government needs to rein in on borrowing, come clean on the output of the first euro bond, and take the bold step of scrapping the interest rate cap law to boost economic growth, which at an estimated 4.8% for 2017 is some distance away from the Vision 2030 growth target. Alex Mwangi, NTV.